The popular e-scooter program in Eugene abruptly hit the brakes and hundreds of scooters are being pulled from the streets this week. Yeah, Super Pedestrian, the company that owns hundreds of scooters around town, is shutting down all U.S. operations. And as KEZI 9 News reporter Jennifer Singh shows us, this is a big change for both riders and the city. E-scooters owned by Super Pedestrian popped up all around Eugene in March as part of a year-long pilot program. But just eight months later, the company abruptly announced it's closing down all U.S. operations, surprising both riders and city officials. It's such an important part of how people travel around downtown and get around town and, and for the most part, super successful. So, um, of course, the first question that everyone's been asking me is, are we going to get another one? Um, and we will definitely be exploring that. Marion Cedar Barnes with the city of Eugene says out of the more than 60 cities that put out these scooters, Eugene has been the second most successful location behind Seattle. Yeah, I mean, outside of just, you know, the convenience of people being able to get around, I think uh, we saw a lot of people having fun with them, you know, a lot of visitors from out of town uh, kind of played and, and um, were really able to explore more of Eugene because, uh, it, you know, it was easier to get around without having to drive everywhere and park everywhere. People say with this announcement, they're not just losing their preferred mode of transportation. Some people are also losing chunks of money. I actually had forty dollars um, in the app, and so when I found out uh, that they were that they were uh, the program was going away, um, I immediately I, I looked up to their customer service. I sent them an email. I got a response right back. I said, "Sure." They said, "We will give you." I think it was two dollars and sixty-seven cents of the forty dollars that you have in the app. So I'm out forty dollars. She tells me the company told her funds from promotions in larger deposits cannot be refunded. So that means that I put money on the app under some kind of a promotion and now I can't get it back. However, at the end of the day, she says she's still more disappointed about the program shutting down altogether. I hope that another uh, another program, another company comes back in and starts the uh, the scooters back up. I found them really, really uh, convenient and I'm even thinking about going out and buying myself one. Marion Suter Barnes with the city of Eugene tells me they now plan to add more Peace Health ride bikes in early 2024 to fill this sudden void, while they discuss new alternatives such as partnering with potentially a different e-scooter program. For now, any scooter around Eugene with a green light can still be used, but ride them while you can because soon they will all be gone. In Eugene, Jennifer Singh, KEZI 9 News.